Why does someone experience caffeine withdrawals when they stop having coffee? Great question. Two main reasons. One is that caffeine, ha- because of its effects on adenosine and because of adenosine's relationship to uh, the way that nerve cells connect to, to the vasculature, to blood vessels and capillaries, that when they stop drinking caffeine, they actually get changes in blood flow and they get headaches. And so you're, you're either hyperperfusing the brain and, and head. And let, so there's, there's a compartment in which uh, below, between the brain and skull sort of called the meninges, and it's very heavily vascularized. Your brain is very heavily vascularized. And it, it's sort of tricky for chronic caffeine users. The blood vessels are actually dilate when they, people drink caffeine because they're caffeine adapted. For people that are not caffeine adapted and just have a cup of coffee and they never drink uh, caffeine, the blood vessels constrict. And that's because of the way that adenosine and these systems uh, tend to regulate themselves over time. So if you've been drinking a lot of caffeine and you stop, you can get pretty brutal caffeine headaches because of the changes in blood flow to your brain. And that takes a little bit of time. And generally tapering by mixing decaf with calf and then um, you know tapering off. Some people also find that they do much better drinking things like yerba mate tea. 